Hey, you're welcome to the VHF UHF channel. And uh, today is a question that I get asked from time to time, and we'll actually answer that. And of course, it has to do with antennas and VHF UHF scanner radios. So, for a lot of people, the antenna that comes with a radio, and I don't have an example here, yes, I do, is a rubber decky antenna like this. These are okay, I mean, they're basic antennas. That will do the job but there are several types of antennas that you can actually have improved reception and one of the things that you got to understand a scanner radio has a huge range of frequencies you'll typically for most scanner radios go from 30 megahertz all the way to the gigahertz range some like this are way down in the long wave band 150 kilohertz all the way to 3 gigahertz in this case no one single antenna will be good for every frequency range. It does not exist. You can have something that is kind of doing the job okay, but you really need different antennas. If you're serious about scanner radio listening, get yourself several different antennas. Now, there are wideband antennas out there, but remember that one thing. They're kind of a little... Um, I'd say they're kind of lying to you a little bit when they say, oh, this is a wideband antenna. I got a more mobile vertical wideband. Uh, it goes for, it's, it's rated for 30 megahertz to, uh, I think it's 25 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz. And they did, you know, the one I have, it tells you that you can use it on two meters for uh, broadcasting for amateur radio, two meters, 70 centimeters. Where they're lying is that it's not true that one single antenna is great everywhere. Typically, when they call their antenna, um, you know, wide band, they have little tricks up their sleeves. There's ways that that antenna resonates as best it can across a range of frequencies. But every antenna has ups and downs. Frequency ranges where it's not very sensitive. Frequency ranges where it's actually very good. There's no one single antenna that does it all. And that's where, with portable radios particularly, because if you're out, you know, I have outdoor antennas, usually we, we have only one because it's kind of difficult to have more than one. But if you have more than one, of course, you can add, you know, have a few different um, VHF, VHF antennas. But overall, even on portable radios, and I have this here, I've got several types of antennas. I have purchased antennas that are specific for some frequency ranges. When you become very intense in your hobby, one of the things you want is the maximum amount of signal arriving to your radio. And to do that, specifically uh, made antennas for specific frequency ranges is probably your best bet. That means that the real scanner buff might have several different antennas for different occasions so an example the basic rubber duck will do fine if you you know i got nothing but this obviously lacks a lot in sensitivity for most frequency ranges plus this on the 30 megahertz range is horrible i mean this is no good 30 megahertz is such a long wavelength that these little rubber duck don't perform well there they do in certain ranges. Uh, higher UHF ranges sometimes will be okay with that. But buy yourself specific antennas. An example I got here, this is a wideband mobile vertical. Why this is good? Once again, it's not perfect antenna. It's not perfect for every frequency range. But it has one little thing that's nice. First of all, the fact that it's a telescoping antenna means that you can extend it. And, you know, there is a difference between using this and this very short antenna in the 30 to 50 megahertz range. Typically here, if I hear something like a baby monitor just above the squelch, if I put this on, it suddenly becomes loud and clear. Why? Because the longer antenna actually helps for the lower frequencies. Remember that the lower the frequency, the longer the antenna needs to be. The higher the frequency, the shorter the antenna needs to be. That's why this short antenna might be okay in higher frequency ranges. Now, you can buy specific band antennas. I've got one that's specific for the 400 megahertz range. 
bought it on eBay. There's uh, others that are specific for amateur, uh, amateur radio bands. Some are specific for the VHF range of scanners. Uh, some are specific for 800 megahertz and above. So if you're really serious, you can get several types of antennas that are specific to frequency ranges you'll listen to. We all need that time when we have the need for only one antenna. I always favor the telescoping because here, if I listen to 30 megahertz, this is great. If I move up in frequency, I just collapse some sections. I told you that the higher the frequency, the smaller the um, antenna should be. So by actually shorting it, I'm actually making it resonant to higher frequencies as I'm using my scanner radio. So there's one advantage to these telescoping. And I think everybody that has a scanner radio and listens a lot should have at least one of those telescoping antennas to do radio listening because they are kind of overall nice antennas that you can kind of, you know, collapse or make it longer depending on the frequency you listen to. But like I said, a real scanner buff will have different antennas for different frequency ranges because don't believe what they say. There is no single antenna that is a wideband perfect antenna everywhere. You'll have more performance off of specifically um, manufactured antennas for specific radio frequencies you want to listen to. So that's my tip for today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.